there Facebook, it's Vanessa here again, speaker, trainer and head coach at Live Love Give and today's message um, was a really interesting one for me this morning. Um, just had an amazing session with an awesome superstar of a client and um, they said something during our session that really resonated with me and it inspired me to jump on and share this message with you guys today because I'm finding that it's something that a lot of us are dealing with and struggling with and I've been jumping on a bunch of calls with you guys and it's just been fascinating to see um, just the patterns between, you know, we think that we're so individual and we're so unique and we're, our struggles are so different to the next person person but ultimately we we tend to deal with the same issues just in our own little versions of them and that was really resonating with me today in this call when this incredible client shared some of their journey and termed it in a way that really resonated with me and that's what I wanted to speak with you guys today which was it's all about transcending tribe mentality. And before I get right into that, I wanna just jump on and say hi to Yvette, my friend. I, I always love that you join me so regularly. And uh, Melissa and uh, Gia, Giacomo, love it. And um, awesome, awesome Moises, thank you so much for joining. And Aaron, um, awesome to have you. And my friend Jeremy, uh, perfect one for you to join me on. And uh, Yumesh and Tahia. Ah, you know, you guys know I struggle with weird names. I love them though. So thank you for joining. And Brian from Jersey. Yeah, guys, tell me where you're from. I absolutely love that. I always forget that I want to know exactly where you're from because it excites me to see where you guys are at. And Jonathan, thanks so much for joining me. And Vivek. And yeah, Jeremy, love it. Uh, thank you so much, Yvette. I love having you here. So guys, today, you know, all about this. Uh, yeah, thanks, Jeremy from Utah. Love it. And uh, Rafal. Thanks for joining, and uh, Yalapa, thank you for joining. Um, Moises from Mexico, always love seeing that. And Kevin from Idaho, awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to stop getting distracted by you right now. Keep dropping your comments in. I just want to get into the juice of this in terms of transcending uh, tribe mentality, which is the way that this awesome person termed it and I really loved it and it was just so resonating with so many of us and, and particularly myself as included you know when we realize that we're in a tribe and that our real truth and mentality is kind of starting to differ from what we've been following. So you might have had this experience in your life, particularly if you're somebody who's into their personal development and personal growth, you're always looking to evolve and grow and, and challenge your belief systems. And when you're that way inclined, unfortunately, you're gonna leave some people behind you might leave some systems behind. You might even leave your family behind. You might you might be leaving you know religions behind. You might leave friendship groups behind. You might leave complete lifestyles behind. Whatever it is, but you know I'm a big believer in continuing to tap into your truth and step up. And when you really do tap into the truth, like that inner knowing that you 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 know you're no longer on the right path or with the right gr group of people or the right in the right belief system that's helping you progress when you start to see that there's an incongruity going on and you really give yourself permission to feel that um, wow like wow is there so much power in in that allowing you to transcend that tribe mentality that can often keep us stuck in you know in lies you know it can take us away from what is really true to who we are and it can stop our it can you know hamper our vision in terms of what's possible for us and and that's why it's such an important topic and something that I really wanted to bring to you guys today so um, I hope that this is resonating how I'm explaining it to you guys just want to have a really quick check in before I continue um, and Kevin, yes, got you. And Jay from New Zealand, love it. And Vickers, thank you. Um, and Musty and Melissa from California, love it. Rani, thank you for joining. And uh, Felice and Manu, awesome, awesome. So guys, where is it in your life? Where is it in your life where you are feeling like you're in a group? Maybe it's your group of friends. Maybe it's your religious group. Maybe it is in your family dynamic. You know, wherever it is where you're in that tribe 
And, you know, a funny thing about those tribes, you know, we all need that sense of belonging. We all need that sense of acceptance, like there's some place that we can feel at home. But what happens is, and the reason why we sometimes need to transcend that kind of tribe mentality is when it's no longer in alignment with the truth of who we are. And the problem lies in the fact that so many of us do not know who we are. In fact, we've identified so strongly with this tribe, whether it be family, religion, uh, friendship groups, school groups, whatever, wherever there is a bunch of people in a system, you know, there is likelihood of being a tribe mentality, which is, um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard, um, you're speaking into, what is it? I, I can't remember who said this, but it's like when, uh, is it, is it the monkeys? I don't know, monkeys in a cage or, sorry, this is a sh terrible, um, terrible sort of story to tell you when I can't even remember it. Maybe it's frogs in a pot or something like that. And, you know, there's the, the water, they, yeah, this is what it is. So there's all these frogs in this big pot of water and they started off cool, like nice for these frogs. And then they slowly sort of, um, you know, heat up the water. And whatever frog, if there's a frog that starts trying to jump out and try to try to um, crawl out of this um, out of this pot you know the other frogs will pull it back down and that's kind of like what the tribe mentality is it's really like you know we all have to because we so identify with this belief system and some if somebody in that in that tribe challenges that we want to like hold them back because we're in fear of our own identity being, you know, um, up leveled and it's scary. I've got this funny light going on, but, um, yeah, so that's sort of what's, what's going on there. And I want to know, is it, is there something that's resonating for you guys here in terms of, you know, is there an area in your life where you have had to leave some sort of tribe mentality that you realized at one point that was keeping you stuck, that you were no longer, it was no longer resonating with the truth of who you were, and you had to generate the courage to break th through from that, you know, break free from that. And, and ultimately, did you get to the other side? Because there's so many of us who are currently trapped in that tribe mentality and it's really scary for us to address and take ownership of the fact that it's no longer in alignment with who we've discovered ourselves to be. But we have to generate a level of courage and confidence to be able to break free from that. And this amazing client of mine shared with me today that when he made a transition a couple of times out of that Trend, like transcend, transcending that tribe mentality, you know, ultimately he was disowned by the tribe that he left. And the same thing, it re the reason why it resonated so much with me is because the same thing happened to me when I left um, a belief system in my family that um, no longer resonated with me, even though I knew the repercussions or the reactions that I was going to get from my tribe you know, I still had to generate that courage. And the, the way that I did that was I got so certain of what I didn't want, where it was just unshakable. Like, even though I knew what I would be hit with, I had such a, a connection to the truth that I was on the wrong path that it didn't matter anymore. That voice on the inside got so much louder and more important than the voices on the outside that I was able to break through and ultimately leave a truly unfulfilling life behind. And you know the beauty of it? There's going to be some people in that tribe who you just say your goodbyes right there and right then. And that doesn't have to be a bad thing. You know, I, I'm a big believer that relationships don't necessarily have to last the, the test of time. Maybe they're just for that period of time to teach you more about what you do and don't want in your life and move forward from there. And it's not a failure. And the other thing that can happen is when you step up and be a leader from a place of truth, genuine, genuine, um, genuine truth, your authenticity and stepping forward in power, you can have the power to inspire others to break free and step more fully into their truth. And ultimately, uh, I really don't think that there's anything 
there's no better feeling than feeling like you've impacted somebody in such a positive way that you've been able to inspire them to step more fully into their freedom and self-expression and break free of an unfulfilling path and totally step into alignment with who they are. There is, there is no greater gift that you can give to anybody is my belief anyway. So I hope that this is resonating with you guys. I want to check back in. I know you guys are have made some comments and, and joined me and uh, Dr. Angel and Brittany. Oh, so good to see you. We need to catch up. And Jonathan. Uh, thank you, Jonathan. Um, that's awesome. And Muhammad and Penelope. Yes. And Jay, I hear you. It's a real stage of my life now facing and it's a hard step. Yes. Yeah, so, so true, Jay. And I honor your journey. I know how challenging it is. You know, I was somebody, if you guys have heard me speak into, I used to call myself, or I call myself now based on reflection because I didn't know when I was in it. I call myself, called myself um, the chameleon who was always changing my identity dependent on who I, was, who I had in front of me. And I had a, a vast array of friends, but they were all so different. And ultimately, none of them really knew who I was. I was just showing up as exactly who I felt they wanted me to be in order for me to gain love, acceptance, approval, whatever you want to call it, and, um, and from them. And ultimately, it was because I didn't know myself. And that's ultimately what makes it so difficult to break free of the tribe mentality. You know, and, and so many of us, we're expecting to have the answers as to where to go before we make the move, even though we know deep down it's not in alignment, it's feeling really bad, and some of us need to get to a, a pain threshold in order to actually break free and finally get over the edge. And that was me definitely included in that. So. Thank you. And Jay, yeah, I definitely just want to say I honor your journey so much. And um, if you want any like a little assistance with that, I'd be happy to jump on a quick call with you. One of my 15 minute power sessions and just spark you up and give you a little bit of insight into that. So definitely book that in if that resonates. And Stephen, um, so great to hear. Um, thank you so much for your kind compliments. And I love having you here. Um, so grateful for you guys who keep showing up day after day. And uh, Heather, awesome to have you here. And Shy, thank you so much, guys. So tell me, um, tell me, guys, is this resonating with you? Is it making sense? Is it valuable to you to sort of think into transcending that tribe mentality? Because ultimately, when you transcend from a tribe that is inauthentic to who you are, a funny thing happens. You actually start building and attracting a tribe that is in total alignment and incongruence with who you really are at your core. So the more fully you can step up with courage and get out of situations that you don't want, you're only going to make way for the things that you do really want. And that is um, just a wish that I have for each and every one of you out there is to, you know, muster up that ounce of courage it takes to break free from something that you truthfully know is not in alignment with who you are. Even if you don't yet have the answers as to what it is that you do want or who you exactly are. And it's, it's a challenging, challenging journey because Ultimately, it's like losing our identity and that's what it is. And when we lose our identity, when we're stuck in this, you know, the world that we live in is an ego driven world all based around identity. And so to lose our identity is like death. That's exactly what it is. So there's these times in our lives when we're losing and shifting out of, we're making these transitions and we're shifting out of an identity that we've become so accustomed to. But at some point it gets painful enough for us to want to break free and rediscover and rebuild an identity. And that takes serious courage. Um, and, and that I, I do know that I've experienced it time and time again, but my, my advice to you on that is that the, the better you can get at recognizing the value of thriving in the uncertain, then you will become, you will actually gain more control of your life because you recognize what's controllable and what's not. And ultimately, life is uncertain. 
and you're never really going to know. But if you tap into what you can know, which is that truth within about what really resonates, what's really congruent with you, then once you start tapping into that and moving in that direction, that's when life opens up for you and that's when you're able to handle those transitions out of those identities that are keeping you stuck and keeping you small and ultimately transcend into a more empowered sense of identity and, um, and fulfillment in life. So hope that that's resonating with you guys. And another quick check in here. Awesome, Jay um, and Sarah, nice to have you. Thank you so much. I love all your compliments, Moises. I appreciate you so much. Uh, Jacqueline, oh, thank you so much. God, you guys are filling my head up. You're making my head really big, but I love it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And um, Alexander, um, thank you so much. And Shy, awesome to have you here. Uh, yeah, Donald, I'm gr grateful that this is resonating with you. And uh, Tatiana, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. And uh, yes, uh, la la la. Sarah, um, why does it take years to get out of this crowd when they don't align with us? Why am I lying to fit in with in intuition says it's just not the place for me? Powerful, powerful question. And that's why I appreciate having you on as always, Sarah. So ultimately, the more disattached from the truth of who we are, we are, then oh, that didn't even make sense really. I hope you guys got me there. But the more disattached we are from our truth of who we are, we are so easily swayed by the external world. And because we are seeking validation, acceptance and love, uh, and we're not filling ourselves up with that, we're not filling that void that can only truly be filled by ourselves. We're actually putting all the power in the external and seeking that outside of ourselves. We just get trapped in the crowd. And it's when we tap into, like you're calling it, Sarah, that intuition, that deeper knowing within ourselves that we're not, we're not doing the right thing. We're, we're not being truthful to who we are and we're just following like sheep. You know, it's, that's when we can have the breakthrough. But Ultimately, what my advice is for you guys out there who are struggling with kind of following the crowd and not feeling great and being a yes man to all these things that you don't really want in your life, then ultimately your journey starts with getting clear on what you do want, tapping into that inner voice and starting the process. And it is a process of building that courage and that confidence to move forward, just inching forward and getting more and more self-aware. And that is where your power lies. But also, you know, surrounding yourself. You know, you guys have heard me speak into one of my favorite quotes by Jim Rohn, that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So upgrade your five. Start looking for those people out there who are where you want to be, who are living authentically, who are living free, no matter where you find them. If you can get into proximity with those people, awesome. Get a book from somebody who inspires you. You know, listen to audios, watch, get on YouTube. Fill your mind with positive thoughts and people who are getting the kind of results in life that you want. And ultimately, that's going to help you transition and transcend out of the tribe that is keeping you stuck and create a much more empowered tribe moving forward. But you've got to trust. You've got to get out of your scarcity mindset that's keeping you stuck in that tribe that deep down you know is not really in alignment with who you are because you're looking and seeking this validation and you, you're settling for connection rather than really your truth and stepping into your highest potential. And you've got to get into an abundant mindset knowing that when you clear the way, abundance fills your path. So, you know, clear the way out of that, those things that are holding you back that you know about and start having the courage to step forward even if you have to be alone for those first few steps. Just trust in the process that it will all work out. You will figure it out and life is so much better when you start listening to that intuition, listening to that inner voice and deeper knowing that is trying so hard to wake you up to the fulfillment that you have to live into in your life. So I hope that that was valuable to you guys and thanks so much, Sarah. I always appreciate you. Uh, thank you, Moises. 
and um, Tatiana yes the more we are detached from who we are the more there is power in the external exactly exactly right spot on and the more you become self-aware exactly what you're saying there that's that's where your power lies definitely Tatiana couldn't agree more and wheels on Mick awesome to have you back haven't seen you in a while and uh, Tatiana yes you are the average of the five people you associate with yep exactly um, awesome thanks for sharing Tatiana I appreciate you so much and um, yeah love it Moises you're focused on that abundant mindset definitely that's where life begins and Walter nice to have you thanks for joining and Lewis thank you for joining um, I'm doing well Walter and Sarah awesome and Ellen, love that you love Australia. Tell me where you're from. So, um, awesome guys. Um, I hope that today's message has resonated with you. I hope that it's got you thinking outside the box about, you know, sometimes when we're in it, we just don't know. And it takes maybe a new message coming in to sort of get us to question our current results, our current reality, and see whether it's in alignment with the truth of who we are and start trying to tap into that inner voice, that inner knowing that is trying so hard to wake you up. And yeah, so I hope that that is um, resonating with you. And from Memphis, Tennessee, thanks, thanks, Alan. Um, that's awesome. I love hearing where you guys are from. So guys, let me know if you have any other questions, if you have any other comments, Definitely give me some feedback about how I could be, um, you, know, you know, adding more value to your lives. That's what my ultimate goal each and every day is. I just want to be able to make, uh, you know, add some sort of value to your lives. Maybe show you a new perspective. Maybe get you getting you questioning where your life's at and, and help to inspire you to a new level of your potential. That is my absolute wish and what I do try to do my best every single day. So um, appreciate that. Um, do you have a book out? No, Tatiana, I don't have a book out, but um, it's something that I wouldn't mind doing. So thank you. And uh, Alan, thank you. And uh, London bloke living in Auckland. Love it, Walter. Good work. Uh, thanks so much, Alan. Appreciate you sharing. And uh, Southern California, Donald. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate you all so, so much. You guys light up my life and um, I love all the interaction. I love all your kind, uh, the messages I've been getting from you guys. Just honestly, just touch my heart like nothing else. I appreciate you all so much for allowing me to you know, live my mission, live my purpose. And um, yeah, you guys light up my world. So thank you so, so much. Like always, um, I love seeing you guys and I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow.